Shalom to our viewers in InfoLife TV. Joining us today is Brigadier General Yossi Kuperwasser, ex uh, head of the Israeli Army Intelligence Service. Um, hello, Mr. Kuperwasser. Good evening. Good evening. How do you see uh, the results of this conflict now with the ceasefire? How do you see this scenario now? Well, the uh, results of the conflict are uh, only on the level of potential results, in my mind, for the time being. There is one thing that is obvious. Lebanon would have to change its defensive strategy. If, until now, the defense strategy of Lebanon was based on Hezbollah as the force that would protect Lebanon and the force that would deter Israel from attacking Lebanon, mm -hmm. this has totally collapsed. Because Israel has decided not to let this happen. And uh, after the abduction of the two soldiers, it has decided to uh, take action. And not to be deterred by the fact that Hezbollah has rockets. And uh, that's why Lebanon cannot anymore depend on Hezbollah to protect it. Uh, do, do you think that there was a failure in intelligence in this operation from the Israeli point of view? No, I, I don't think there was any failure of intelligence. I think that the intelligence... Was, was there. We knew what are the capabilities of Hezbollah. We knew what kind of a damage we can inflict on Hezbollah with the Israeli capabilities. And we knew because of that that the fighting is going to involve the use of rockets deliberately against civilians by Hezbollah. We knew that uh, within the places that are going to be hit were going to be Haifa and maybe even Hadera, which actually happened. Mm -hmm. The only su surprise was the uh, fact that Hezbollah had the, the C-802 uh, anti-naval uh, uh, missile. Uh, this was a surprise. Do you think that we have to prepare for the second round of this war in a, in a near future? Well, I think everybody understands that uh, since, as I said, it's not totally clear what's going to happen in Lebanon, if Lebanon is really going to implement the UN resolutions. Uh, But even in a wider second round with Syria and Iran, I, I'm asking. Well, I, I think the Syrians, uh, in spite of what uh, President Assad said today, the Syrians are very cautious. They know uh, that uh, it's not a good idea to fight Israel directly, and that's why they have invested so much in, in Hezbollah. They want Hezbollah to fight the war for them. And, uh, but yes, we have to be prepared for every eventuality. Uh, we have to be prepared for the possible Uh, hostilities with uh, Syria, for possible hostilities with Iran. We have to be prepared for all the uh, eventualities. This is one of the main problems Israel has. Israel has to fight on a variety of uh, fronts and be prepared to fight on a variety of fronts. And we are fighting the Palestinians all the time. Mm -hmm. And we are prepared to fight on other fronts as well. And Hezbollah for us was just one of these fronts that we have to be prepared to fight on. Uh, today, after President Bashar Assad's speech, talking about getting back the Golan Heights by force and not by negotiations. Uh, Defense Minister Amir Peretz said that we now have to, we have now to make use of the opportunity to open negotiations with Syria. After these results in this war, which are not clear enough, uh, how, do you, how do you see this speech from the, the defense, the Israeli Defense Minister? We are not against peace with Syria, world peace with Syria. Uh, but of course, The messages we got so far from Syria mm -hmm. about peace, and also today from uh, President Assad, you know, they have this habit of having very nice words, but we have to judge them by their deeds. And uh, the messages we got so far from Syria were rockets of 302 millimeters falling on uh, Afula and uh, Hadera, rockets of 220 millimeters full with uh, balls that... Uh, Uh, there in order to hit, to kill civilians, mm -hmm. uh, falling on Haifa and many other places in, uh, in the Galilee, uh, Tver, Tiberia and, Tver and other places. Uh, we got messages through the use of Cornet uh, missiles and uh, Metis missiles and uh, RPG-29, all supplied by the Syrians to Hezbollah. I can't say that these are messages of peace. The, the last question, what do you think is going to happen in the next few days? It's too early to say whether the Lebanese government, with the support of the international community, are really ready and able to do that. If they are not, it's another big problem. Mm -hmm. And uh, finally, the Lebanese would have to discuss the issue of disarming Hezbollah, as stated in the Security Council resolution. We all know that for Hezbollah, Security Council resolution is just a paper they can 
uh, turn it into a small ball and throw it into, into the garbage. Uh, that's their clear intention. The international community is going to be challenged by Hezbollah. And uh, we shall have to wait and see whether the Lebanese government and the international community, while challenged by Hezbollah, will just decide to go in the other direction and forget about it, or stand fast in, in, in front of this challenge. Brigadier General Yossi Kuperwasser, a former head of the Analysis and Research Unit Department of the Israeli Army Intelligence Service, thank you very much for joining us in InfoLive TV. Thank you.